The date is 19th of February 2021. My dear young ones, Devakar is back with you again with another key question of life which I feel will benefit you from pondering over. I came across this very nice question in the book The Daily Stoic. So the question is uh, how do you conduct yourself at a banquet and if the banquet were the banquet of life? I felt it was a very nice question uh, because it set me thinking. Uh, let's uh, imagine we are at a feast invited by somebody called life. And in that feast there are countless people and there are waiters uh, carrying dishes, uh, passing around the dishes to everyone. And uh, when the dish comes before us, we dip into it, uh, pick a little bit of finger food and then allow the waiter to move on to somebody else. Uh, in fact, uh, that is what the banquet of life is all about. We are all there in our stations where we are and some things come around to us and we enjoy them and then they move on for them to be enjoyed by others. Have you seen uh, in parties that there are some people who summon the waiter to them and then uh, look at the dish to see which are the biggest pieces they first quickly nibble at one and then they ask the waiter to remain and say, no, no, I want to have one more. And they pick and choose the largest and juiciest pieces on the dish. And then uh, they try and keep the dish as much as possible before them. So much so that uh, the dish is often empty by the time the waiter ends with them. This is a, a kind of uh, gluttonous habit that many of us do have in life. What do you think about such people? Are they civilized? Are they animals? Are they decent, uh, caring and compassionate beings? So how do you think of yourself when opportunities come by your way? Uh, actually, there are no easy answers to this question whether we should just take a little bit and let everybody else have it. Because what happens is you find that you are following the rules but the others around you are not following the rules. And then uh, people think that you are actually uh, uh, silly. Uh, that you are playing by the book where nobody else does and then you either change yourself and, and get into the rat race or you hold the high ground and say no this is what I have committed to and this is how I will be and that is where the question of value and standards come and I talked about it in another episode of mine how should we determine our attitudes in life towards the banquet of life uh, the famous stoic Epictetus says that uh, the more we wean ourselves from the temptation to have more, the happier and more grateful our lives will be. A gratitude after all is what a feeling of contentment and thanks for what is already there in our life. Our lives are full with what we already have and they are not in a permanent or perennial state of scarcity waiting for something else and additional to come into our lives. So if we, uh, if we quickly uh, condition ourselves to the banquet of life in the middle. Okay, we are seeing the waiters carrying around all these exotic dishes. But we know that they may come to us. They will eventually come to us over a period of time. Maybe they are being swarmed by so many people and not able to come to us. But we cannot go and start, uh, you know, jostling about it. We have to wait for our turn where we are. And then when our turn comes, help ourselves properly and then let the dishes move on. Uh, if we do this, then we are setting ourselves up for a life of gratitude and contentment. We enjoy what comes our way by itself. We enjoy it while it lasts, knowing that we should not be attached to it forever. And uh, that helps us be civilized guests at the banquet of life. And not only that, I have noticed uh, there are a few guests who come to the parties uh, who after the party is over, stay back and help clean up the dishes. What wonderful people. They not only have had their share of fun, but they realize that finally somebody has to pick up the mess and clean up for the next day for the banquet to start again. I have seen particularly some very dignified ladies stay back and do this uh, with the uh, hostess. Uh, I have a very high regard for these kind of people in life. Therefore, when we look at life as a banquet, we must look at it as if we were invited guests and that there are things which will never be equally available to all of us. But whatever comes to us, we should gracefully accept, enjoy it while it lasts and let it go 
for others to enjoy. Some of them may be gluttonous and greedily gorge on everything that is served to them and deprive others, but that is not for you to worry. You should just set a good example by what you do when the dish and the plate comes to you. I hope you like this uh, anecdote. I really found it fascinating, the comparison of our opportunities and uh, pleasures in life to an invitation to a banquet and the banquet being life itself. God bless you, my young ones.